and welcome to the news this week your one stop source for the latest happenings in the alcohol and hospitality industry i am shalini kumar and i am here with you today with the latest updates on policy and regulatory issues national and international developments and new launches and much more news this week is powered by the most trusted trade publication spirits Here are the major headlines before the detailed news. GST Council decides cut taxes on ethyl alcohol. Assam to give industry status to tourism sector. NCLAT approves penalty on UPL and other beer companies. SEBI approves Allied Blenders IPO. Pollution eating morale. Bira 91 ventures in cider category. The Goods and Services Tax Council has recommended that the rate of GST on ethyl alcohol supplied to refineries for blending with petrol be reduced to 5% from the existing 18% rate. According to an official release, the GST Council has recommended reducing the GST rate on husk of pulses including chilka and concentrates including chunni, churi Hand up from five percent to nil. Recently, the Assam cabinet has accepted a proposal to provide industry status to the state's tourism sector in order to attract investment and generate employment opportunities. The Assam government agreed to give industry status to restaurants, cafeterias, health clubs, spas. and wellness facilities in the state which is expected to attract incentives under the state's industrial policy as a part of the track and trace project being implemented by the department of excise in punjab the punjab government has launched a mobile based excise qr code label verification citizen app the qr code based mobile app will facilitate in ensuring that no spurious counterfeit or non duty paid liquor could be sold in the state of punjab this in turn would help in contributing to liquor consumers health in punjab and also in prevention of evasion of excise duty in punjab it's time for a short break stay tuned Ocean blue is the thrill. Welcome back and here are the industry updates. The National Company Law Appellate Tribunal has upheld the 873 crore rupees penalty imposed by Fair Trade Regulator CCI on UPL and other peer makers. The NCLAT bench said that after examining the materials and considering the arguments, it was of opinion that the appellants had already admitted in the leniency application regarding their involvement in the cartelization. referring to the bench of petitions moved by the beer makers before the cci seeking reduction in penalty the nclat said lesser penalty application is like an admission of guilt in a cartel 
The Competition Commission of India in September 2021 imposed penalties over 873 crore rupees on UBL, Carlsberg India, All India Brewers Association and 11 individuals for cartelization in the sale and supply of beer. Allied Blenders and Distillers Limited has received approval from the Securities and Exchange Board of India to go ahead with its initial public offering of shares nearly 6 months after filing the draft papers. The IPO comprises fresh issue of equity shares worth 1000 crore rupees and an offer for sale for promoters Bina Kishor Chhabria, Reshma Chhabria, Jitendra Hemdev, Nisha Kishor Chhabria. Of the total proceeds from the fresh issue, it plans to utilize seven hundred crore rupees to repay debt and the rest for general corporate purposes. The company plans to introduce products in the premium. semi premium and deluxe segments that will help improve the profitability johnny walker gold reserve recapitulates its pour of gold narrative in collaboration with abhinav mishra one of the leading designers of the country to celebrate the finest moments of life with a hint of gold The collaboration showcases endearing celebratory moments with the Johnny Walker Gold Reserve that brings alive the storytelling of the liquid whether intimate or grandeur. The association will have Abhinav Mishra design and curate an entire celebration experience through a contemporary statement bar bar trolley and delightful gifting packs suited for those precious moments in life brookladic distillery has presented a mural in the uk which has been coated with a pollution eating polish the industry first we also make whiskey mural has been designed to significantly improve air quality it uses a polish that purifies air by using energy from natural sunlight to break down harmful pollutants and odor molecules it is said that one coated square meter can take out 2 grams of nitric oxide per day located in east london brookladex mural clocks in at 70 meters square and has been live for 4 weeks this equates to an estimated pollution reversal of more than 700 cars going on a short break please stay back long shot but i got the reach pop lock now i'm on the leash mic drop i ain't got a preach i just do what comes natural Stalling Reserve, come alive! Welcome back, and let's see which new products are launched in Indian market recently. Bira ninety one has announced its. Foray into beyond beers with the launch of Hill Station, a category of hard cider ales. The launch is part of the company's move to bring new categories beyond beers, in congruence with the increasing demand for ready-to-drink options and a growing generation of consumers enthusiastic about experimenting with new flavors. Hill Station Hard Cider Ales will have three flavors of hard ciders in its portfolio: Himalayan Apple Original with 5.3% ABV, Himalayan Apple Strong with 7.5% ABV, and Himalayan Apple Berry Twist with 5.3% ABV. They will be available across the country, starting with Bangalore. 
Rohit Ram Singhani, an entrepreneur from Dubai, established the Concilium Whiskey Company in 2019 with the aim to introduce a series of curated malt expressions in the Indian market. The company has given India its first blended rye malt and peat whiskies in the BII category with their two new expressions, Concilium Black Blended Rye Malt Whiskey and Concilium Black Blended Cigar Malt Whiskey. Both have launched in Mumbai market and the rye malt is available at a retail price of 1800 rupees and the cigar malt is available at the price of 1975 rupees. The sixth edition of the Food for Thought Fest curated by the South Asian Association for Gastronomy was held in Delhi during 17 to 18 December 2022 at GMR Aero City, New Delhi. The two-day event commenced with an opening ceremony through lamp lighting by its chief guest Uday Mahurkar, Central Information Commissioner, Government of India, in the presence of international delegates and dignitaries. The plenary panel discussion was on the topic of post-pandemic pivot in the restaurant business. The high point of the event was a special address by the guest of honor Amitabh Kant, India's G20 Shepa and ex-CEO of Niti Ayo, Government of India. 99 Pancakes has launched its first dine-in outlet in Hyderabad. It is said to be India's first QSR chain specializing in the pancakes segment. New dine-in outlet is located at Jubilee Hills and will offer a variety of options in pancakes with unique names like Red Riding Hood containing fresh strawberries, obviously seasonal. Nutrilla, whipped cream, chip sprinkles, etc. Even though the QSR is known for its scrumptious pancakes, it also offers waffles, French crepes, cakes and pastries, macarons and shakes. With this, I wrap up this week's bulletin and I wish you all a very, very happy new year. Enjoy responsibly.